Hi guys, welcome back. Let's dive into sending Firebase Cloud messages from a Node.js server. Node.js takes the V8 JavaScript engine and repurposes it to provide a server-side runtime environment for executing JavaScript code. The result is an extremely fast, efficient, and scalable environment in which you can create and serve dynamic web content. Node.js includes a range of modules that provide specific functionality such as networking and database access. One, one could also use the Firebase Admin Node.js SDK provided by Google to allow Firebase Cloud Messaging to be implemented within the Node.js code. For you, for you to use Node.js, you, you should have a basic understanding of JavaScript. But I'll actually be walking you through on how to uh, install Node.js on your device or machine and, uh, and how to actually configure the Firebase SDK into your Node.js project. For you to get Node.js into your machine, you need to uh, go to the link nodejs.org forward slash the English version and the download. Uh, you get to have different uh, installer, the Windows installer, the, the, Mac, the Macintosh, and also the source code, which you can actually get uh, a zip or a tar uh, package. But if you're using uh, a Linux environment, uh, you can actually uh, download Node.js from uh, the command prompt of the terminal. Specifically, if you're using Ubuntu, uh, you can actually run this command. Uh, you can type sudo apt get install node.js node.js legacy and npm once you run this uh, you have node.js installed uh, to your machine but now for you if you have if you have done that uh, you've uh, downloaded the uh, the package you've uh, run it probably you're using windows or mac uh, you can easily confirm the version of the node you are using by running this command. So I have the version 7.4.0. I have node running on my machine. So let's get started. You need to create a folder where we are going to actually get our init and create other uh, Node.js uh, package or file. And Node.js file usually end with the .js that the .javascript. Uh, notation. So I will actually uh, create, I've created a folder right there in the Astro Under Studio project, which I called the Node.js project. Get to navigate to that, the Node project. So for me to actually get to this uh, part, I can just easily drag this folder right inside the air, and I have it this way, so I can easily uh, change directory. So I'm going to change directory to here and I click on my enter. So I have right there, right inside the node project. So in here, I'm going to run the command called npm init. So I will employ you to also do this. We all have terminals on Windows. You have uh, the CMD. On the Mac, you have uh, the terminal. On Linux, you have a terminal. On the Ubuntu, there's no operating system, the modern operating system that doesn't run. Uh, a command prompt. So please do this as I'm doing as well. So you run the npm init and you click on your enter. Uh, don't forget you uh, also need uh, an internet connectivity and uh, you have to uh, follow some process here. We have the name, the node project is, is okay for the name. You click enter. The version that we are pointing out, they've given you uh, a kind of uh, uh, suggestion 1.0.0. That's okay. That's our first version. Now the description of the project. Uh, let's say uh, testing out node JS with Firebase. Click enter. The entry point that's the uh, the launcher is index.js. That's fine. You click enter. A uh, test command. You can leave that empty. Uh, the Git repository. Uh, you can also leave that entry empty since you don't have one. Keywords are, uh, let's say, Firebase. 
Node.js as our keyword. Click enter. The author, Laravel Studios. Hit enter. The license you can leave that empty. You can see they've given a suggestion. I S C. And uh, uh, is this okay? Yeah, it's okay. Just continue. Yes. Click enter. You have the setup. If you should look at the directory, you will notice that the package or JSON uh, file has been created. Let's quickly look at that. Back to the folder. You click into here. Do you notice that we have the package uh, .json which has been created? And now we need to uh, move ahead from that where we need to create a file into this directory called the index.js. Since we pointed out we need that uh, uh, the starting point should be the index.js. So you're going to use any text editor that uh, suits you. I'm running on, like, on Ubuntu, so I'll just use the basic uh, the, the text editor here. Let's say text editor over here. So I'll just save that and I'll write save it into the folder which is the node project. Cool. I'm going to name this index.js. So I save that right there. And now uh, let's uh, run the hello world command. So we'll be so sure that node.js is running and fully functional. So we have to create a variable sys which equals to require what do we require? We require the util close the bracket there and use the semicolon and uh, now we can uh, log this to the console by running the console.log and we say hello world close that right there we'll save that so you have that saved now you go back to the terminal so we can we can easily run uh, let's run this uh, command node index dot js strike on your enter can you see that we have the hello world now we have our, our Node.js running and our, our package, the JSON tool, really functional. So after this step, you need to install the Firebase Admin SDK. And you have to install this using the npm command right inside that folder, the node project that houses the uh, package of JSON. Don't forget to do that. So let's run the, let's install the Firebase Admin SDK. So you run the npm, say install Firebase, give a knife in admin, one word, and you double if now, save. So let's run that. So that's actually going to take a few seconds uh, for that to actually extract all needed dependencies down to the folder and node projects. So we're actually going to exercise little patience at this point in time and have that downloaded based on your internet speed and so on. So just have that uh, done. Cool. That's fast. We have that set up. So let's get to look at Can you see that we now have a folder called the node modules where we have the Firebase admin and we have a lot of uh, files right yeah so that's cool so after the step you need to generate the service account credentials from the firebase console before any firebase cloud messaging can be sent using the node.js an additional json file needs to be generated and installed on the server so this is actually going to take me down to the firebase console which you can say this way so you hit straight on the settings, which you see right there, and you click on the project settings. 
Once you click on this, uh, you will head straight to the Service Accounts tab. And right there in the Firebase Admins SDK, we opt for the Node.js and you click on the Generate New Private Key. This is for, this is private to you so that uh, this, not, this shouldn't be a public key so that uh, others can't just be uh, calling to the server through your key. So it's actually uh, for you, for your account. So actually make this private. So once you generate this, uh, we'll be needing this uh, key. You can just click on that, save it somewhere. And uh, we're actually going to be needing this uh, in the course of writing the first code to send the message from the Node.js server down to uh, the device. So after doing that, uh, you're actually going to uh, move ahead So here we go, uh, we have the Firebase Storage SDK right inside the Node Project folder and you need to create another JS file, call it the send.js, that will be the uh, JS file that will be sending a uh, message from the Node.js server, so we should understand that. Now let's get to look at the source code of the send.js. The first line we have the variable admin which require once the firebase admin cool and now the service account that requires the path to the firebase storage sdk json that you generated the private json you generated from the firebase console and uh, you initialize the app uh, using the credential you have uh, from the service account and the database url uh, this is uh, out of the box uh, to predominant to Firebase and now we have a variable of the registration token this registration token is gotten from the source code we had earlier based on the Firebase cloud messaging uh, this is uh, the token which is unique to the device or emulator you're testing on so you can easily rerun the code again and get your token uh, from the console when you'll be looking out for the Firebase the registration token in the log cart or in the Android monitor. So I think you should understand that. If you don't, uh, please uh, lay your hands on the source code and, uh, and also assess the video, the Firebase cloud messaging, because we are building on this. So back to our uh, text editor. So there you lock in the registration token you have and we'll look at the payload. There's a variable that has a you know, that has a data which is actually in key value pairs, just like the way we had it in the Firebase console, where you can be able to add the key and the value from the console and send the message. So we're just mimicking that using the JavaScript uh, key value pairs. Can you see that there? So we have the my key because if you notice, we have that set up in the code. Uh, the key is the my key. Let's get to look at the Firebase Magic Service. My key one, and uh, that's the key we are looking at, and uh, that's what we still have right there in the sent JS. My key one, and now the value we are putting in is the hello. So you can easily say, it. "Hello guys, hope you're cool." Hello guys, hello Firebase guys. Just add something. We have that set. And you save it. Now we have an options. If you notice, we have this also in the Firebase console where we have the priority. You can actually set to high or low uh, based on how important that message is and the time to leave. So this is actually in milliseconds, which you multiply and actually have uh, the actual time. Uh, this is basically like probably two minutes or so. So the last chunk is the send to device. Now you need to send this to the device. You take in three parameters, the registration token, which we've uh, set up there, the payload, which is the data, the key value pairs, and the options, the priority, which we are uh, assigning to this message. So you get a response, a callback, just, just like uh, Java as well, a callback, a response, and uh, in the callback, you just speed this out to the console so that we'll be able to see if the message was sent 
successfully or not so you have to log to the to the console that's a successful sent message and also the response and on error you have a callback as well that there's an error sending the message so this is just how to go about uh the uh send.js and i'll actually show you on how to run this from the command so you actually get that uh done so let's get to send uh, the js file right there in the console so i'm actually going to open up the android studio project so that we'll be able to see it right there from the lockout on the android monitor as well i'm going to uh bring out my terminal so i'm going to run node send dot js so i want you to look closely at the terminal and uh at the android monitor so that we're actually going to see a callback right there in the log so click enter to have that done if you notice sources one and look at it right there we have it uh, right there so we can easily see that uh, we have it the message data payload hello firebase guys so that was what we sent from the node.js server so this is just the basic uh, way to actually create a node.js server that we will be sending messages cloud firebase cloud messaging to device to user segments to different uh, user group and this is just the basic way to go about it so a basic understanding of javascript will be needed and uh, if you notice we have the successful count one no failure and the message id we got back so we have a successful sent message so thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout uh, this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time and always happy coding